Uh, quirky intro. Uh, whatever. Okay, hey, Smoo here, and it's review time. Um, I gave blood today, and I'm still feeling pretty crummy. I'm feeling nauseous, lightheaded. Um, I mean, as usual, I'm filling myself up with 7-Up, but I got to even more because, you know, don't want me passing out all over the place. So, the movie I'm reviewing today is just one I want to talk about, just because I'm not sure if a whole lot of people have seen it. It's a pretty good movie. Um... Uh, it's called Old Joy. It's directed by Kelly Reichert and starring. It only has a cast of three people. I don't know who the female uh, part is at the beginning is, but um, but uh, there's uh, Daniel London and Will Oldham, and uh, most people know Will Oldham as Bonnie Prince Billy, who makes pretty good music. Uh, if you haven't heard him, check him out. Any of his albums, he makes consistent good music. So. Yeah, it's pretty worth it. Uh, I love them. Anyway, um, well, the plot is uh, Daniel London is a character named Mark, who is a married man, a, a young like in, like in his late twenties. He's married. He has a kid on the way, and he is old friends with a man named with a guy named Kurt. And Kurt is this sort of wandering pothead type who who sees life as an as an adventure, you know, goes with the flow kind of guy. Uh Kurt calls Mark on uh, on the answering machine and uh asking uh to go on a camping trip with them. And Mark sort of withholds this uh this the the return call on this on this message because he's not sure if he really wants to go. Um, so the movie is pretty much just the camping trip, them, uh, them going on the camping trip, and, um, and you see the nine, you see how, you see that these two characters are pretty much, were, at one time, excuse me, pretty much the same kind of person, and we're, like, really tight best friends, but now you see, uh, in this trip, uh, of, the, like, an absence of seeing each other, you see, you see sort of the dynamic between the two, the awkwardness of the, of the road trip. At one point they get lost and stuff like that. But, um, the story isn't even the beginning of what makes this movie interesting. Uh, what makes the movie interesting is that how minimalistic the story is. It's just two guys on a camping trip. Um, that's it. They just go on a camping trip. Uh, and basically, it, but the movie is so engaging, though. It's a, it's an in, it's a really independent feature, very low budget, but um, the 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 cinematography is just beautiful. Uh, you see you see everything. You see everything about this town that they live in. I think they're in Beaverton, Oregon. I uh, might be wrong. Uh, it's always rainy, and you always see the, you see all the dirt on the buildings. It's so grimy and so real, like you're actually there. You see the t the dirty town that they live with. The, like you know, like you see the the broken down the uh, tire shop signs that you s the, and there's no tire shop beside of it, and you just see the sign because no one bothered to take the sign down, you know, stuff like that. Um, dirty houses painted in bright yellow, stuff like that. Uh, Kelly Reichert, who directed and written this film, were um, is it usually clumped in you know, with avant-garde filmmaking. And I swear to see why. Uh, she, what she does is she creates a very minimalistic story, maybe three or only two characters. And she, uh, uh, she has this very ambiguous dialogue. You know everything means something. Everything, everything has a, str a string tied to it, in the, which adds tension to the awkwardness of, of these old friends seeing each other for, for, uh, for one time, you know. Uh, you see the dynamic. Yeah. I think everyone's been in that situation where they go up to an old friend that they haven't talked to in a while, and you sort of see everything that goes on. And um, 
and throughout the movie um, for, to uh, to to uh, one person just might be a camping trip you uh, you see that it's, it, it the small story is this is a story that small part any part of your of uh, life is a is a story and I think that's really cool um, it's a very engaging experience people might think it's a sort of pointless some things that Kelly Riker does in this movie like there's a part where Mark is in his backyard and he's uh, he's meditating and they zo and there's a shot of a log that's beside of him that has ants crawling on it like it like it focuses up uh, like the you see uh, maybe too much uh, but I think that's just drawing you into the scene and getting your your head in this universe that there, and which is very very real it's uh, and the acting's phenomenal uh, the ambiguity with all this uh, line delivery is very labored over and very very uh, very personal and emotional uh, I think it's a very emotionally engaging film uh, I know I'm saying engaging a lot but I don't know I don't even know how, how does it any way to describe it other than that I guess say it immersive but that's even more cliche but um William Oldham gives a really great performance um Mark gives a great performance and uh, when they go up to the camping trip they have their dog with them uh all the uh, it's, it's, a, it's a short movie too even though it feels like a really long camping trip it's only about 70 minutes long and I think it's uh, complemented perfectly with Lo uh, Yola Tango's uh, soundtrack. They make this very countryside, uh, just sort of rock and rollish thing. That they, you know what they usually do, and uh, and really, really sets the mood. So I say, recommendation from the Smoo: go watch Old Joy. Really, really good. It might take a couple. It might take a few watches. For you to understand everything that's going on between these two characters, but believe me, it's a payoff, and um, it really, uh, it really uh, it hit a hit a soft spot for me. So I say, watch it. I slept sweetly That the night was always ending